Hello there and welcome to Waters and Stanton's demonstration facility here in uh, Hockley. We're always on the lookout for new products and uh, one of the newest products uh, to hit us is the new Yaesu FT2DE. It's a dual band transceiver and it makes use of Yaesu's new fusion system. So let's just take a first look and see what it has to offer. Well the first thing you take out of course is the radio itself. And the first thing I noticed was it's got a lovely square LCD display. It's really coming on to the size of some of the uh, smartphones. And the radio itself, well, it's really solid. It's a typical Yaesu modern handheld. Antenna, well, you get the usual SMA screw-on antenna. You also get the battery charger, which charges the battery pack supplied with the radio and uh, you get a belt clip and also a USB programming lead and that's the way handhelds are going these days most of them now can be programmed from a PC which makes things much easier and finally where would we be without the manual this manual is pretty comprehensive in fact it runs to about 170 pages, that's all in English. I haven't read all the way through it, but my guess is that anything you need to know, you'll find in the manual. So, full marks, Jason, for that one. Right, here's the radio a bit closer. Now, we turn the radio on by pressing this button here, and it's backlit. Now, the backlight is very good for dark situations uh, operating at night, but frankly, at, during the day, you don't need the backlight on at all. You can turn it off and the LCD display is fine, particularly in sunlight. So no problems reading this radio in sunlight. One of the real things that uh, struck me first of all was how easy it is to change frequency. If I press that button there, then I have a keypad. Press any frequency I want, press enter, and I've got the, got the frequency. If I want to lock the display, I just briefly press the button there on, this, on the side, the on off button, and the display's locked, so I can't accidentally change the uh, frequency or any other functions indeed while the uh, radio is locked. Press it again, and we're unlocked. Now, if I want to change band, well, I just press the band button and I can cycle through the different bands. It's that easy. Another thing I like about it is if I want to listen to FM broadcast then I just dial up the frequency in the required band and the radio is intelligent enough to know whether I want to listen to FM or AM airband. If I go to the VHF AM airband frequency then the radio defaults to AM but of course you can change all this. So what about the functions. Well, if I press this button here, I get into a multi-way keypad. I'm not quite sure whether you can see that, but I get into a multi-way keypad and I can press any of those buttons to get into a sub-menu. When I get out of it, I just press the back button there and I'm back ready to go on there to whatever station that I've decided I want to talk to or whatever band I want to go on. I rather like the FT2DE. There's certainly a lot to learn, but it's all in the handbook, and uh, I think I could have a lot of fun. And do remember, of course, that although this is capable of operating through the Yosu digital modes, you can also use it as a normal FM radio. So don't be frightened. As soon as you get it, you'll be able to switch on and have a QSO on FM. And as time goes on, and once you read the manual and you get used to things, you'll be able to make use of the new Yaesu Fusion system. And also, don't forget, we also do a great part exchange service here. So if you've got something old to sell, a bit of old gear, uh, it's got to be a ham radio, of course, but a bit of old gear, then we're always pleased to help out. Thanks for watching and check back occasionally because we continue to review all sorts of uh, interesting new items as they come along here at WS.